Hello, Aries. Welcome to your monthly reading for March 2023. This is for Aries, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult of cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Now, Aries, I do this because I love you and I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Uh, secondly, astrology has been around for thousands of years and it's really influenced divination. Now, tarot, which came out of the 14th century every tarot card is assigned an astrological element a ruling planet so when we add the two together when we combine the two we get really deep we get a little bit more detail all right and uh both astrology and tarot are aligned with the tree of life so that's why i like to combine the two now this month aries i don't even know where to begin it's just it's a huge month and you know that if you you know if you're a subscriber you've uh, been leading up we've been leading up to this month this is the biggest month of the year okay the biggest month of the year there are almost 30 major aspects uh i like these aspects i would even say minor major <laughs> to major they're big compared to february there was only about like 15 16 there's about 30, okay? And some of them are some that we have never experienced in our lifetime, okay? So let's, I mean, you want me to, or let's do it, all right? We have a full moon in Virgo. We have Mercury going into Pisces. We have this, we have Saturn going into Pisces. That, listen, that's gonna be there for, you know, technically three years, but you know, there's retrogrades and stuff. So we're going with two and a half years. This is huge, Saturn, Going into Pisces is huge, all right? Venus is going into Taurus. Venus is in its domicile. Venus is at home in Taurus. This is going. This is beautiful. This is amazing. This is uh, awesome. Mercury's going into Capricorn. We have the sun going into your sign, where it's exalted. We're going into your birthday season, so happy birthday, Aries. Uh, and then just right after that, the new moon in Aries. This is a really powerful new moon. I mean, talk about new beginnings for you, especially. Um, uh, and of course, the big thing, if you are following, you know, astrologers or you know about, you know, what's going on astrologically, you know, Pluto is going into Aquarius. The last time this has happened was pretty much when we signed the Declaration of Independence. It was, you know, the French Revolution. I mean, 1770s. OK, this is huge and it's going to be there for 20 years. OK, Pluto is going to be in Aquarius for 20 years. Technically, it's only going to be here until June. You're going to get a preview of what's to come from January 2024 to January uh 2044 i mean it's it's huge and then mars is entering cancer but uh listen i'm gonna talk more about these bigger aspects in my weekly readings because it's just so much happening this month aries so much happening but here's something i want you to know and don't tell any other sign well you can but mark march 1st in your calendar now the reason why is because Venus is conjuncting Jupiter, okay? Not only is this one of the best days of the year, not even the month, of the year, but it is especially for you because both Venus and Jupiter are in your sign, all right? So we're already kicking off your month in a very special way. All right, Aries, so let's go ahead and get started. The other thing is if you're not a subscriber, I do leave all the key astrological dates in the description box if you do wanna follow along. And then also remember to stay tuned to the end of the reading uh, because I pull more cards per week. I break it down week by week just to give you a little bit of insight, a little bit of preview, what's to come for um, for every week, what to watch out for, uh, what to look out for. But that is in addition to, you know, the weekly readings that I do for every sign. Anyway, Aries, I'm, let's get, let's do it. I'm excited. I'm excited. March is going to be a really, really big month. You're going to feel it. So uh, Aries, like I said earlier, I do a, a traditional call to cross spread really gives the best overview here um it has been uh, uh, uh it's going to be a big big month okay big big month just get ready for change you know aries a lot of y'all have been going through change and i'm very excited for you and I'm very proud of you i'm excited especially think about where you were last year okay around this time think about where you are now all right so Look how much, look how far you've come. Look how far you've come. I'm, it's 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 so amazing. Uh, Jupiter did go into your sign uh, late spring, summer last year, so you could have had some 
a lot of just good stuff start happening around that time. You probably got, it was like seeds being planted for some. Some probably got new jobs, new careers, new relationships, but there are no retrogrades. Jupiter is still in your sign. You're feeling it. And, um, oh my goodness, you're good. You're good. Aries, you, listen, let's, 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 let's do this. Let's do this. All right, Aries, you got the devil, okay? Now, I don't want you to freak out. It came up in your past. So this is just indicating there was something that you you needed to let go, okay? Something that wasn't serving you well. Something that, um, you know, the devil represents everything that you think the devil would represent, right? It, bad behaviors, vices, addictions, like drugs and alcohol, which is really cliche. You, you get where I'm going with this. But think about addictions and other forms. Maybe you were spending, you know, too much time binging Love is Blind and you weren't getting any work done. Or, you know, the, 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 the scrolling through social media all day when you could have been, you know, uh, going out there and meeting people to you know uh network you know how that works so the devil coming up in your past i like that it came up in your past so there could have been some tempting moments to even go back to past behaviors like bad behaviors or bad patterns and it may have not been easy for you but it seems like you broke free from those chains of the devil in the heart of your spread this is the headline news of the month you got the ace of swords all right this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, you, you, uh, I don't even know what to say. This is going to be a big month for you, Aries. Uh, look at your spread, by the way. You see that you've got all major arcanas and court cards um, and, and you know, the Queen of Cups. But that's significant. That's really significant. Now, the Ace of Swords really is. What's really interesting is that we do, you know, Mars is in Gemini right now, all right? And that is in your third house of communication. Now, you probably will have some really important conversations, really important meetings, but you got the Ace of Swords as well. And this is all about having that mental breakthrough coming right after the devil. So if there has been some things that, you know, you're still just kind of, you know, that are not serving you well, that you need to, you know, you need to just let it go, let it go, let it go. It's, you're gonna. <laughs> Good for you, all right? And if you feel like it's hard for you to do it, spend time up here. I mean, you're an Aries. You kick off the Zodiac. I mean, you're a cardinal sign. You're the leader, right? You're bold and you're courageous. And there you go. You're right in your element. You do see the crown and the wreath. This is victory. This is success. This is having that mental breakthrough, having that clarity, seeing everything that you need to see, okay? One thing I wanted to remind you is that that is the biggest sword in tarot and you know it is a double-edged sword so with great power comes great responsibility use that power there's so much knowledge and power all right and so much power and knowledge use it as a force of good all right use it as a force of good in terms of getting the things you know pursuing your goals and ambitions and of, of, of spreading all that great energy that you have this month. Now, you did get the star, all right? You got the star in your, uh, 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 it's, well, it's, you know, it's the challenge area, but it really is like the breakthrough area. Now, the star is Aquarius, all right? It's ruled by Aquarius, and it is faith. It is your hopes and dreams. It is stars aligning for you, and it's like the things that you're you're hoping, your aspirations, what you're wishing for. Now, it's in your challenge area, so some of y'all are at a crossroads, okay? And so, uh, one thing that I want you to do is I don't want you to feel that uh, it's almost like I want you to take more action, right? Take more action and feel all that passion that you have feel all that passion for the things that you want and you that you're going for whether it's relationships whether it's career whether it's you know a new home whether it's family related you know stuff put that passion into it aries you've got this okay and then there is another uh uh you know a message coming through that some aries may not even know what you want okay this is a good month to think about that all right it could be a good month to think about that now uh spend some time with friends too that's coming through like uh the birth of like ideas with with friends if you're not sure again you know like i said earlier is that crossroads energy some may be in in, in a situation where you're like 
like, I don't know if I want to go this path. I don't know if this is what I want. I thought this is a dream that I had. I thought this is, you know, the career path that was meant for me. Just think about it. Spend some time thinking about it. But a big thing that's coming through is friends, right? Spending time with friends, uh, really close friends, even family, okay? And just talking it out, right? Don't keep it all up here. Talk it out. But it seems like you will be fine moving forward. You will be fine moving forward. Some of y'all actually did find out or made a... a made uh that uh had that moment of clarity that the thing that you thought you wanted isn't what you wanted all right so uh but you're gonna be fine you got the wheel of fortune we know this is the card of luck we know this card is ruled by jupiter which is the card of or the planet of good luck prosperity profit expansion jupiter is in your sign all right and so this is really significant. This is divine intervention. This is you just wanting this game-changing moment in your life. It looks like you do want to move forward in this huge way. There's some big things you want. There's some big things you want. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, when I said put some passion into it, it's almost like uh, you can, you can, you can hope and and you can hope for things, you can aspire for things, and you can dream for things. But if that care is not there, if it's just like, more like daydream then it doesn't really do anything right you get to put all that you get that fuel right what is the phrase of fire put fire under your butt uh, the and fuel in your heart i think i just made that up <laughs> but you get where I'm, you get what i'm saying aries now listen you did get the ace of pentacles so this is amazing this came in the root of your spread this is clearly indicating um, you do want something new, all right? And if it's not something brand new, like a brand new path, brand new career, new relationship, it's really just taking things to the next level. Do you know, like taking things a notch up, all right? And even opening up uh, lines of communication for that to happen. That's really important. Communicating is going to be really important for you this month, all right? So I want you to know that. I want you to be very active. And again, important conversations, important conversations. Uh, this is the biggest pinnacle in the deck as well. Uh, so you see you got two aces, all right? Now you can see, and P pinnacle is money and wealth, all right? And it's, you know, if, if you, like I always say, if you're, you know, the prince of you know norway watching this video <laughs> where money and wealth is like nothing for you like i don't even, you know like not even a worry or a concern it's your physical reality because you know pentacles are earthbound right so the things within your world all right you're hoping for this new thing you can even see the golden pathway here right you see the archway it really is a gateway into this next step all right now your future Queen of Pentacles, or Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Cups, <laughs> Queen of Cups. So this is really great. It's really terrific that you have the Queen of Cups in your future because the Queen of Cups is, you know, all about that heart, right? And it's, remember what I said, you know, putting that passion and that fiery, you know, being in your element, uh, going toward the things that you want and manifesting the things that you really, really just want in your world, right? The, the, the you know, the things that you've really hoped and inspired, uh, 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 dreamed for and aspired for. Um, the Queen of Cups is, you know, she is someone that leads with her heart and she is very intuitive and she's very psychic. So I see you getting into this mode where, um, I'm not going to lie, with Saturn going into Pisces, that is going to happen because that rules your 12th house of the subconscious, okay? Uh, so that is going to be a big thing for you. A lot of you, you're going to get a little bit here's the thing this month you may be a little cerebral there could be a lot of activity going up here but there's also a lot of that uh connecting with you know your gut instincts your intuition just really really going with that and then you know pair that up with your passion and you are just boom 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 you got that right and so the queen of cups i really love that because that's a lot of emotional stability that's a lot of love that's a lot of maternal energy as well all right and so she's sitting in that throne because she is like the princess diana she has so much care for everybody within her kingdom and she just wants to make sure that they're loved okay and so that's again a big 
social thing that is happening is Pluto going into Aquarius for you in your 11th house. But even still, another message that came through earlier was just spending more time with friends as well. And, you know, a lot of answers will be coming out that way. You could get some answers through dreams too. Pay attention to your dreams. And I'm not talking about the ones where like you watch, you know, like Saw 4 the night before and you have a nightmare the next day. I'm talking about the ones where it actually, you, you know, it actually means there's something there, all right? Uh, because the Queen of Cups is very psychic and very intuitive. and uh, But in, even still, it's, I love that you did get the Queen of Cups in your future. That's really amazing. That's, you know, just a lot of, um, uh, just very emotional too. Uh, a lot of love for others, but also a lot of self-love. Now, let's get to your stuff. Aries, you're amazing. I love you. You're amazing. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. You know I love emojis. If you are not a commenter, if you don't like to write words, I love emojis. And if you um, if you are a subscriber, you're amazing. Thanks so much for being here with me. You're you really, really, really make my day. You and I actually wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. So big, big, big thank you. Um, let's get to your stuff now. Aries, my Da Vinci. <laughs> I said that last time, right? I love that Leonardo Da Vinci was an Aries, Lady Gaga. I, all these create, y'all are so creative. Um, all right, so Aries, you're. This is a big month for you. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really big, 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 big month for you. You see that your entire spread, your entire spread, is um, major arcanas. And court cards, okay. Um, except, except for the three of wands here, but this is Aries. <laughs> um, but do you see that out of uh, only one card out of your entire spread, all court cards, all major arcanas? This is how big this month is going to be for you. Now you got the page of Pentacles. All right. Now listen. This I uh, I. Uh, so you got two aces, you got two pages, you got two queens. Aries, this is amazing. Now, this is just confirming you do want this new thing. You do want to go for something new. You want this new path. And you want, you know, for a lot of y'all, something is going to come through this month. And it's going to be something that is very rewarding. It's going to be something that is... Uh, a lot of stability to it like he actually page of pentacles he is uh pages represent earth and pentacles represent earth so he's double earth here all right very taurus by the way um but it's very grounded like grounded and so the page of pentacles look how compelled he is by that pentacle all he wants to do is learn how to turn this thing into you know monetize it and you know and turn it into this you know great wealth again if you're not here for money if you're not here for you know finances or whatever this again your physical reality turning this your world into this beautiful thing that the world that you've always wanted which is really amazing and pages usher in that new change just like the ace they usher in new change new opportunities where it's falling in your staff it's saying that it's what you want you want this now all right this month you're going to want it now you got the queen of wands in your external factors area there's someone that's going to help you in a huge way all right there's going to be someone who is uh really really like dynamic it can be a man or uh it can be anyone it's you know this is just feminine and energy that is queen and it's in your external factors area now the queen of wands is very popular she is you know very very charismatic she's very regal she here you see the sunflower in her hand right it really does have all the powers of the sun it really does okay think of this just optimism growth abundance she has that uncanny ability to attract whatever she wants okay and so i love that she she's very powerful very passionate love that she came in your external factors area there is someone that's going to be uh really instrumental in your success and uh very very just great energy there really good energy again you pulled your i mean this is real this is an aries card this is okay so the three of wands this is i say it's the green light card okay and again look at your staff look at your spread all you want to do is start this new journey start this new path 
start climbing the you know ascending that's all you want at this point in march all right that's all you want and this you can see uh he's just ready all right now think about like the 14th century right think about like you know like medieval times they didn't have uh, iphones they didn't have netflix they didn't have any of that leaving your little orbit your little world was a big deal all right it was a huge huge deal and so very adventurous going out to explore meeting other people communicating with other people that's what you want that's what you want you want to just start going now you want to get going there's you know your energy in this reading is just really aries and it's very fiery and i love that about you now lastly in your final outcome you got the page of swords all right so again remember that i said uh you're going to have important uh, conversations this month, okay? Important meetings. Again, it can be a relationship. It can be um, a, a family member. It can be work-related. But it is going to be something uh, that is going to be important this month. Page of Swords is saying that there is mess a message coming through. But I'm getting many messages. And so you will get messages coming through. Page, again, remember, pages are messengers, by the way. And Swords, the mental suit communication. Now, this Page of Swords, he's very enthusiastic. He's rearing to go. Came in your final outcome. Your entire reading is just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start this new. Let's let's get this new thing. Let's. I, I love this. I love this. And again, if it's not new for you, when I say new, like new for, yes, for some of y'all, it'll be a new uh, relationship, new career path, new passion. But for some, it's all about that ascension, elevating, expansion, right? So that said, I you really don't even need any clarifiers. You really don't. You're, I mean, this is clear as day here, Aries. You're, you're good. Oh my goodness. Now let's get to, like I promised, I pull a card a week just to give you a little bit of insight. What to expect every week. Now, as I said earlier, March 1st, the very first day, the best day, one of the best days of the year for every sign, but for you particularly, because that's Venus conjuncting Jupiter. Venus, the planet of love and everything that we desire, basically, you know, hugging Jupiter, the planet of good fortune and 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 promise and 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 profit and expansion. Now they're both in your sign. They're both in Aries, look in the sky. They're in your constellation, okay? Uh, Mercury is going into Pisces that uh, the first week. Um, we have that full moon in Virgo, okay? Uh, interestingly, same day as, as Saturn enters Pisces, all right? Aries, that's, uh, whew, that's, that's crazy, okay? That's going to be a big, big day. Full moons are closures, okay? They really do represent closures, but, you know, when something ends, a new, uh, a, do, a new door opens. But it is a good, good, good time to start something new, okay? Really good time to start something new. Um, and that is going to be in your sixth house, okay? So a lot of, you know, the sixth house does rule work and labor, but for some of y'all, maybe something health-related as well, okay? It could be something that has to do with, you know, maybe you want to start trying a new diet. Maybe you want to start doing uh, Pilates instead of yoga. Really up to you. Um, and then the last thing, remember, <laughs> turn back your clocks. Or is it turn it forward? Daylight savings, March 12th. Anyway, that is the first week. There's all, there. you know, again, there's so many other ha aspects happening. Those are the main ones. So let's see what's going on. Yeah, you got the four of swords. So the, I'm actually good this came up because the four of swords, this is all about stillness of mind all right and the reason why is because your reading is just so boom 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 all right uh there's it, the, the energy around it is huge but there's all this like newness and wanting this newness and having all these convers you know important conversations like i said earlier and just coming out of like this place where something was holding you back and it's almost like uh it, it, this gangbusters energy and this is great because this is having that stillness of mind to just you know be prepared for for the month okay be prepared and this is a wonderful card this is a great card all right it's it's uh, think like wellness, think relaxing, think just, got, you know, taking a weekend trip to, I don't know, like a, some national park and forest bathing, right? It's really, it's having that stillness of mind before things start getting really, really, really 
going all right now the second week of march uh oh, there's just so many I, there's so there's so many things happening the main thing is march 16th venus is entering taurus okay again like i said that is uh venus is going in its home sign this beaut it's beautiful it's beautiful it's a, such a beautiful aspect and then uh we do have mercury going into capricorn that's you know communication being just very practical pragmatic again you are going to be having a lot of a, a lot of big important um, meetings and conversations you got temperance i love this all right this is having that you know balance okay let's just leave it at that it's it's really you know temperance is moderation it's it's having that balance to just see things through being you know just having that restraint instead of like uh uh again this is just like the energy that i'm getting is just boom 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 right especially up here too um so this is just like having everything balanced right mind body soul but also in your physical world i want you to do that too i want you to think about what do i need more of what do i need less of right it, especially you know am i spending too much time at work not enough time you know uh trying to find a date am i dating too much not spending enough time with my friends to find that balance all right that's it's going to help you out and you're going to feel you know it coming after the four of swords it's it's almost like i don't even have to tell you to do that it's just going to happen you're going to feel a lot more balanced by the second week all right it's 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 going to be really really nice for you um really really just it it's your reading is so great it's really making me smile um third week of march oh, happy birthday okay we're officially going into your birthday season we're officially going into spring spring equinox uh and then we have that new moon in your sign new beginnings okay also this is when pluto's entering uh aquarius again i'm going to talk about this you know the in my weekly reading when it comes to that week because it's huge it's a big thing and it's going to be there for 20 years uh and then mars is entering cancer uh like there's i mean really for the world we're about to enter a brand new era every sign is going to feel changes okay a lot of a lot of y'all are feeling these big life-changing moments and so you got the six of pentacles who are you aries you're amazing i love this i listen this is the you know six is the heart of the tree of life it is uh, it, it's all about harmony okay it's all you know that balance we were talking about too you can see this is all about generosity it's all about gratitude i love this coming up during your birthday week or you know the birthday kickoff of your birthday season and with the spring coming up but this is just knowing again there's a lot of balance here first the balance the equilibrium stillness of mind right now we have the actual balance in your physical reality and then also mind body soul and now we have that balance of understanding you know uh the balance uh, uh between giving and receiving of, of, of that you know sharing the wealth there's so much like it's it you're gonna this is this is a well balanced uh, uh month for you a well balanced month now the last week of March there's yeah and so there's nothing crazy major uh i actually like this i love that mars your ruling planet is trining saturn that's going to be on march 30th okay and on that same day venus is conjuncting uranus all right venus at that point remember it's going into taurus but uh uranus is in taurus so um both of them are in taurus so love is in the air basically okay and then with mars training saturn that just brings a lot of long-term you know uh results okay uh just you know being just having sensible your goals really really understanding them and knowing them and it, having that commitment energy but that's that's still like a really great week and let's see what's and then you got the hair of mine okay i listen this is a huge uh, you're listen so balance 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 and then balance <laughs> the hair of fun he is first of all it is taurus and you know that week venus is conjuncting uranus both in taurus all right so that's really great and uh he is you know the spiritual leader someone who has all this deep sacred knowledge all right but do you see how balanced this card is it brings that balance all right not to say the word again but it's it's you're 
this is all about balance, but also really big forward momentum, really big forward momentum. And you are going to have, you know, by the end of the month, you're going to have that, that knowledge that you, in terms of your passions, what you want, what you're looking for, a lot of like moments of self identity, especially with the sun going into your sign. Um, but this is amazing. This is really great. Aries, you're going to have an amazing month. You're going to have an amazing, an amazing month. And you're, the, the energy is just so high and it's just so fiery um, for your, from your spread. And I really love that. I love all this newness coming in. I love all this mental clarity that you're going to have. You're going to have all these breakthroughs. Um, and it, 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 it's really just, you know, a lot of love too. A lot of self-love. This enduring love. Oh, I feel like Mar March is going to be one of your favorite months of the year. Aries, thanks so much for tuning in. You're amazing. And um, again, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from y'all. Um, and if you're a subscriber, you know I love you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye.